Hello everybody, starting one more amazing tutorial for you guys. How to change your login screen from Ragnarok Online. Let's say you watch this video right here and you made your own server. So you can actually customize your login design. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to do that. This is the default login. Okay. And now I'm going to close. So you can see if I open it again, you will see the same image. Just take a little bit time to load. And you can see right here is the same image. So we are going to alter this. And how to do that? You will need to download this ROLSG. And this is a file created in 2012 by was posted by this lacas monk and you can download right here the link is also in the description so you go here and you right click and extract here so that will create the files that was inside the rar uh, file and here you can open and you see that this software is here and it's already telling you that your login design the login page design have to be in this dimension 1024 by 768 and for that I will use Photoshop you can use paint if you want to however I'm going to create one design right now so for example here I'm just going to search for example Ragnarok wallpaper okay and right here I just go to image and search for something that I like for example let's find something cool this image is in a bad resolution so let's try to find something better i like this image i'm going to use this one i will just drag and drop into my desktop and right here i can go to properties and I can see the details is uh, really the resolution that was showing on Google. Sometimes will change when you drag to your desktop, but this is good enough. So let's go back to this folder. And it's a 1024 by 768 document file. Okay. So in Photoshop, I'll create a new file and this file we have this dimension that's already here okay right now i'll hit create and i have my artboard here i'm going back to desktop and drag this image that i chosen into my photoshop here so drag and drop okay it's fitting perfectly but since this is a smart object I want to right click and go here reset transformation and this is actually the original size of the the file and I want to keep about here now I can be creative and maybe just do some adjustments uh, I press ctrl m to open this curve and you can see that this give a nice contrast sometimes I like to open the color balance and just remove a little bit of the yellow tone I just think it looks more welcome to the eyes and I like this right here you're free to to customize with your text uh, let's say for example your Ragnarok let's make this font bigger I will use just a black Arial font and let's set this to to a higher number here 60 
and just a moment. And right here, I will just like customize a little bit the font to, to the way I like. Uh, you can create your own, right? You probably have your logo already. You can just add somewhere if you want to. So I will just keep it easy and increase a little bit the size. And now I can center this to my... Just a moment. To my canvas. Okay. Uh, I like to leave more at the top. Now I can add some blending options to just uh, I'll stand a little more so like maybe a drop shadow. I can move the drop shadow here. I made the drop shadow darker. Uh, bevel. So just just like showing you guys this is possible. Or instead of a bevel, we can go for a stroke. And that stroke could be just like that. Um, inner shadow, inner glow, gradient can be creative here. I want to change the stroke. I want to match uh, something here. So something like that. And now I want to add just one more final touch, okay? That's good, you guys can pick up a little bit of Photoshop. So if I press G for the bucket tool here and go to gradient, here I can just add any color really or just go with like very dark color and here 100% opacity. So to change the opacity is on the upper side and then zero. Okay. So now I can give a little shadow be below the, the logo here. Almost there. It's a little too much. Yeah, I'm trying to get this right something like that and then here I can use the blending option to create some something so you can see the difference here and I like like this now um, I will save this as BMP file so once I have the BMP file here, I go to desktop and let's find our, um, so I need to remember the name of this, login, login is screen generator folder, and I will save it as whatever title I want, just the default it will do. Right here is important to make sure it's 24 bits, you can hit OK. So now we have here in our folder, our very own Ragnarok login design. Okay, now we open this, okay. We go to load and search for our design. You just hit convert and there's a way to set multiples login so every time you open your rag xc 
will open a login uh, randomly. But I'll just teach you how to convert here to do one login. And once you click convert and choose one, you already have all the files that you need. Okay. Remember your your login have to be in BMP format. So now we have all these files generated. Okay. I'll copy this and I'll go to my client folder. Inside data, there is a texture folder. If you install the translation, just like in the tutorial I had, you have the folder like this. And here I have this gibberish folder. Okay. We go inside this one. So client data texture and this folder right here. We just paste those images in this folder. Now is um, easy for Ragnarok to read on the way that they set up. Or whatever the reason is, I don't know why they set up this way, but it works. So now we go to client folder and open our speedrun tutorial or whatever RagXC you have is named in a different way. You open that and you will see that we have now a new login design so you can see that's our that's our design here and everything looks pretty good if you change the size of your open setup here and go to a full screen so let, let's let's move to a full screen right now and hit apply and then close. Now when you you launch, it's just gonna be the same. Our new wallpaper, and this is how it's gonna look like. Just give it time to launch, and here we go. It's working perfectly. This was the tutorial on how to change and create your own design for the login page.